For this, I've just been given the order to do a fast attack evolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my golden circle. I'm looking at the side of my rig. I'm gonna step to the front, make sure I'm clear of anything. I don't have any huge leaks or anything like that. Top and bottom, I'm gonna check my rig. I'll walk around, just look the front, check below the rig and look up top. My duels are clear. I'm going to pick up my chocks. Put them in, set them up for success so they're easy to pull out. Go ahead and put your seatbelt on for me. And I'll get ready to go. Seatbelt first. Alright, my rig. Headlights are on. My rig was in neutral and I have oil pressure. Seatbelts are on. Headlights are on. I'm gonna put it in drive. Release my maxis. I'm gonna drive to my destination. I pull up, first things first, before my guy gets on, I'm gonna set my maxis. I'm gonna put my rig in neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shift my pump lever into the neutral position, then into pump. I got my green light. I'm gonna shift into the drive. I have my okay to pump. Now I'm gonna turn on my hazards. I'm gonna turn on my outside speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on my gloves. At this point, I'm gonna start thinking about the hydraulic problem that I'm about to get. So I know my fireman's probably going to pull a pre-connect. And at 20 pounds per 100, I'm thinking about 140 is what I'm going to pump that on. As I get off, once again, I'm going to check my maxis. Getting off, gloves on. I'm going to go ahead and fire ground pace. I'm picking up my chocks. Place my chocks. Now I'm going to go do my pump setup, which starts with my tank to pump. Starts with my tank fill, finger. I'm going to establish a prime, and I'm going to check for pressure. Listen for the steady change in the tone. I'm going to activate my pressure governor by put, pushing the up button, then putting in pressure mode. I'm going to check that it was activated, and it was. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull my hose. I'm pulling my hose, clearing my hose bed, and bring it to the back of the vehicle. Water coming! I'm confirming a call verbally and with hand signals for a call for water. I'm going to go charge the pre-connect. So I'm going to come and I'm going to make sure that my hose is clear. I'm going to charge my appropriate gate. It's my front transverse. Water coming! I'm going to confirm that water's coming. I'm going to slowly open my gate. I'm confirming my hose is charging. I'm filling my hose all the way to my nozzle. I'm charged. Now I'm going to open it fully, and I'm going to charge it to the appropriate pressure. This is a pre-connect, so I'm going to pump it at 140 pounds, watching the discharge gauge, not my master discharge gauge. I'm going to rev up to 140 because of this hydraulics problem. I'm at 140. I'm going to go in and mark my gauge. One. I'm going to go in and proceed with the evolution. Now that I've charged my line at the appropriate pressure, I'm going to come and dress my hose bed. Dress my hose bed. During my five minutes, I found my 50-foot coupling, which is right here, and my open butt. So I'm going to go ahead and dress it appropriately. I'm going to pull this out. Since I have 50 feet in one hand, and the open butt in the other, right now I have 100 feet of hose on the ground as soon as that first coupling hits the ground. So you can see right here at 50 feet and 100 feet. My goal is to clear 200 feet out of the hose bed, which means I need to pull 50 more. So what I like to do is run this back, and I don't want to duplicate my effort. So there's 50 feet. And this is 100 feet. I now have 200 feet of hose on the ground. I'm gonna break this coupling, and I'm gonna connect it to my pony line right in front of me. I have a gasket.
Now that I'm running out of water, because I'm flowing a fast tack, I'm off to the races. So to make my job easier, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna pull as far as I can, and on the way, I'm gonna grab the end of the hose. Grab the end of my hose, and go to the hydrant. The idea is to minimize the friction, because it could get so heavy with this much hose on the ground. Once I get to the hydrant, I'm gonna make sure my hose is as straight as I can. That's pretty good right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear my uh, pouch, remove my cap. Looking for clear water and a good flow, which I have. Go to check for my gasket. Gasket. Make sure it's real tight. I'm going to charge my line. Water cup. I'm going to open it slow and fully. I'm going to watch it get all the way to the rig. I'm gonna back it off before it hits so I don't have any water hammer. So right about there, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Now that it's hit my pump, I'm gonna open this as much as I can. Since I didn't lay my hose out very clean, I have a lot of kinks. I'm gonna address those kinks on the way back to the engine. I'm gonna open it full, back it off a quarter, and I'm gonna pull my kinks out. So on the way back to the engine, I'm going to check for kinks, like I said. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this water in my tank so I don't run out. On my way back, I can see my bleeder is open, so all the air is out of the system. I'm going to close it. I'm going to introduce the water supply. I'm going to watch my discharge gauge to make sure I don't spike the system, so I'm going to open it nice and slow. Watching my gauge the whole time. I got a little spike, but it's because it's a touchy keystone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open it fully. I'm gonna go ahead and reintroduce water into my tank. Not spiking my gauge. I'm gonna mark my uh, compound now that I have water. I'm gonna go ahead and check the kinks in my system. My tank is full. I slowly close it. Now I'm gonna walk to the back of the engine and check for any kinks. I'm gonna look below my rig for any big leaks. I have a little overflow from my tank and I'm okay with that. I'm gonna look at my proctor until I'm done and I'm gonna go ahead and start with my shutdown procedure and continue marking my gauges.